Okay, um, hi everyone. Uh, I want to show you um, a way I am animating for a while to use uh, Anime Studio to animate in twos. Okay, so if you don't know what it what is twos, um, it is basically that uh, each frame um, is repeat in time so if you have for example uh, 24 frames per second uh, you only animate 12 and each one will be repeat one time uh, to complete the 24 frames so it is a way uh, to animate in, in in classical animation and with the inclusion of intervals in Anime Studio 10, I think, maybe 9, I think it is 10, uh, we now can animate on, on choose inside the software, which is very cool. So I have this character to show you. And for example, you have this character, which is set an interval of 1. So if I rotate this arm, I can see how it is rotating on each frame, right? So this is animating on once. So in the 24 animation, uh, there is movement on each of that frames. Okay, so this is normally how we animate in inside the software. But if you set this key to an interval of two. And now I check my animation, you can see how uh, the arm moves um, each two frames. So there is a frame which uh, the arm is hold and then it is moved and then it is hold and moves and so on. So I am anim animating on twos. If I check this in the motion graph, I can see that my rotation is irregular because you can see here it is represented that the character holds the position then moves then hold then moves then hold and so on okay so you can set by default to animate in twos here okay so now everything i create will be on choose okay. but the problem about uh, animating on choose in in the software is that you don't have a guide uh, so you can get some uh, shaky effects with your with the parts of your of your character so for example I move the arm here right it is on twos but if I move the other part of the arm here which is on twos also you can see they are moving at different times first this part moves and then this so you can see and this uh, this is a problem because it generates some shaky movement which is very annoying in, in, in many cases so you get a very weird uh, animation it is basically always shaking so um, it was hard to to know how to animate on twos because you don't have a guide so uh, I, I got the, the idea to create a very simple guide so I will erase these keyframes and I will create a marker here in frame 1 okay so I create a marker with no text uh, I like to change the color to blue okay and I will create a cycle for this mar mark marker so interpolation here cycle and I will set a relative cycle of 1 Okay, so now my marker is repeating 
uh, each two frames okay so I have 12 markers for each second each second okay so now I use this marker I will uh, hold the freeze the pose here so now every uh, time I add a keyframe I add a keyframe where there is a mark never in between of two marks always in the mark so that way I know all all the parts or of the body are moving in the same uh, twos okay they are not uh, moving at different times so I know the arm and the other part of the arm are moving at the same time and moving are moving and holding at the same time okay so this makes much easier to create an animation on twos okay now you can say uh, what is the idea of animating on twos uh, because I, I could simply uh, reduce my frame rate to 12 here instead of 24 and I, I will have the I, I will have the same result but uh, the good thing about animating on, of, on twos is that you uh, move your character normally on twos but if you need to make a faster action you have the frames in between so you can count with that with that frame so you can add frames to that in between so for example from this project uh, this one you can see in this project uh, I have a a very complex character okay so everything moves in twos if I uh, check the rig of the people here you can see how they move following the twos okay and the girl also moves follow, following the, the twos but when I need a faster animation I add a keyframe in between okay so in this case the girl moves uh, to the other character okay closest to the other character and then goes back so this it is very subtle but it works very nice it, 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 it let you uh, to work in the details so if you check this character you can see it has more in betweens okay because he's moving fast so I edit the keyframes to get a faster movement so you you can see uh, you can get a uh, fluidity uh, which you, you you can get with normal 24 animation on once so I have other examples so I have this character from the the video clip I I, I worked on um, so I have the girl here you can see how it is working on twos every frame it's working on twos even the camera or the layer movement okay so you can see how all the keyframes are on over the blue lines so you can see here the character move, moving so I hide okay so again if I need a faster movement I have the in-betweens so for example here I could add a keyframe here in between so I have the girl following now instead of having two uh, keyframes I have three 
so this can get a better effect for the default okay so I have several examples of that uh, I have here the same character okay I made a test with this character I don't remember the the name of the illustrator but this is a character we are working on on floor films um, so I have this animation okay so again it is working on choose and you can see how there are some parts which has uh, more difference than the other so you can see here I have an in-between here it is normal on choose okay. and now here when the character is swimming I have some different movements and some sometimes some uh, illogical movements like this one but if you see it uh, <laughs> frame by frame it, it doesn't look good but when you watch it at real time it looks nice in my opinion so you can see how it works nice so I have some other examples again um, here Okay, so again you can see how it works on choose okay if you work are working on choose uh, it is good that the camera also moves on on choose because if the ca the camera is moving at 20 24 frames per second in once uh, the animation will look uh, shaky it will uh, I don't know the the word in English but uh, it will feel like a, a quake uh, inside your your animation so I have another example here uh, so I have these characters again these characters are made by Oscar Chavez of Fleur Films um, so you can see how these characters are animated on choose and if I hit play you can see the, the animation looks different than having the, the characters on once I will change the keyframes to once maybe you can see the difference it is more uh, fluid in once but it feels more like made uh, by a computer uh, I think it is very subtle the difference but I really like how it looks in two well here the the uh, acceleration here is not helping Here is it, and I have this rendered. Okay, so that's basically uh, the idea. I am animating almost everything on choose, and I really liked the results. And I really like the the way you can work on the details of the animation when working on choose and I hope you like this this video and I hope you can try this idea in your animations too so bye thank you for watching